The Surgeon General of the Navy visited Camp Pendleton to inspect the progress of the replacement Naval Hospital on base. The new 500,000 square foot facility will address deficiencies at the existing 38-year-old hospital. At the end of the day, we have to build to the latest advances, we have to build to the latest state of the art, and we have to demonstrate to the most precious population on earth, those men and women who suit up, join the military, go in harm's way, their families, and those who left a legacy for us to follow. The hospital is scheduled to open in 2014. That's not an easy feat, considering a timetable shorter than most. Normally a hospital of this size would take about seven years to build. Uh, we have three and a half years from breaking ground till finish to get this hospital done. And so that's been a huge challenge and we've stepped up, our, our uh, design build contractor partners have stepped up to help us get there, get where we are now, and uh, we're on track to meet that timeline. The $455 million project benefits the community in a variety of ways. Uh, this is a stimulus project, so we are actively employing about a thousand people from the local area and surrounding areas around the country uh, with active employment. Uh, and the other side, the recipients of the care that's going to be provided by the Camp Pendleton Hospital uh, will include a, a wider range of people that have been using the existing hospital to date. Commander Robinson also said the new hospital is located strategically off a main interstate and near the front gate. The older hospital is 11 miles inside the base. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, I'm Petty Officer Jason Benke.